Hello there. I'm Nemo. <laughs> no, no, don't worry. I'm not a robot yet. It's just me, regular Nemo. Even though I've been a little bit robotically enhanced. <clears throat> In the recent weeks, I've been buying a lot of little parts to make a video editing PC, a PC that I'm totally not gonna use for gaming. So I thought it would have been a nice idea to share my experience with you. I'm really not good enough to teach you how to build a PC. In fact, today is gonna be my first time doing it. The goal of the video is to explain to you the basics of each component that makes a computer. All of this with a little biology twist. Let's go! Ooh, is it me or it's getting warm in here? <clears throat> ah. So here I have a case, a power supply, a GPU, a motherboard, a CPU, some storage and some RAM. What we're gonna do today is imagine that this computer is a living organism. The case is what holds everything together. It also protects the internal parts from dust and damages. And this is very much like what your skeleton and your skin do. They protect your internal organs from the dangers of the environment. I decided to go with this design because it looks very clean and powerful. I don't like it too much when a case looks too fancy or futuristic. I mean, that's ridiculous. Focus on the present, stop living in the future. Am I right? That case includes coolers, and those coolers have the same role as your sweat glands. When the electricity runs through the circuits and the cables, it meets a certain degree of resistance, and this kind of friction generates heat. Because high temperature can be damaging, the system needs a way to thermoregulate itself, hence the coolers or your sweat glands. What? All living organisms need energy to survive, and the same applies to computers. This is a power supply, and you can imagine this like the stomach and the lungs of your computer. And your body needs to find a way to transport the nutrients and the oxygen to the organs. This is why you have a cardiovascular system with blood. Here, the arteries and the veins of your computer are those cables that are attached to the power supply. And if you are running out of juice, don't try to suck energy from those cables. This is not gonna work. Well, unless you have a bionic power interface attached to your neck. I really need one. Computers are made to process complex tasks. And for that, well, you're gonna need... Computers are made to process complex tasks. And for that, well, you're gonna need a brain. This is what the CPU is. That's the brain of the machine. It's very small, but it's very, very powerful. The brain needs to connect to the rest of the nervous system. And this is what the motherboard is for. It's like the skeleton of the nervous system. It connects all the components together and without nothing would work. And then we have the GPU. This is the part of the brain that is specialized in visual processing. It is more adept at processing multiple tasks simultaneously. Very useful for machine learning, video editing, or gaming. Ooh. Wow. Man, this looks like the inside of a very expensive racing car. You wouldn't be you if you didn't have memory. Machines also have to store data. HDD and SSD are two examples of long-term memory devices. The SSD being a more recent technology, faster, more reliable, and also more expensive. <laughs> I, I wanted to show you how empty was my wallet, but I, I had to sell my wallet. And I keep me too. You are not processing all the information that is stored in your brain at the same time. Imagine if all of your memories would just surface all together as a conscious thought. Well, you would go crazy. 
you would maybe die. And since I don't want my not yet alive PC to die, I bought some RAM. RAM stands for Random Access Memory, and this is the place to store and access information on short-term basis. It stores the data that your computer is actively using and that needs to be accessed quickly. Ugh. Hey guys, do you like my t-shirt? Looks good, isn't it? Today's video is brought to you by Astral Throb, and it's a YouTube channel where you can find compilations of Retrowave songs. They have very cool t-shirts on their merch store. And if you're interested in having a t-shirt or a hoodie or a mask, well, you can use the code that is on the screen right now, and it will give you 20% discount. I think the t-shirts look super cool, and I'm gonna buy more myself. Yep, that's it. I just, just gave you the message, do whatever you want. Now that everything is in place, we need to connect the input and the output devices. The keyboard, the mouse, the microphone or the webcam are all examples of input devices. They bring information from the outside to the inside. Just like your sensory neurons conduct signals from your receptors in your body to your central nervous system. The monitor, the speakers and the printers are, on the other hand, output devices to bring the information from the inside to the outside. Just like your motor neurons conduct signals from your central nervous system to your glands and muscles.
You know, I strongly see myself as a machine, an organic machine. Well, of course, now all of my body has been bionically enhanced. But even before that, our body doesn't work that much differently from a computer. You're just a little and weak computer with the most complex and advanced CPU that is known in the entire universe. So don't ever change, you'll look good like this. Well, a couple of artificial augmentation here and there wouldn't hurt. But yeah, at least don't change here or, or here, wh wherever the soul is. Well, if we have one. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Hey, thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I am currently editing the video on the machine and it works perfectly. I wanna give a shout out to Je Suis Un Calmar from the Discord server who did an amazing drawing. I really, really love it. It's super cool. If you're not part of the Discord server, consider joining. It's a nice place to hang out. I also wanna thank my patrons from Patreon. Not gonna lie, it definitely helps to have some financial support for the content I am making. So thank you, I really appreciate that. So again, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing and I'll see you very soon. Bye.